Stewie, point tonight against Cork. Uh, I suppose they're down to ten men, but point is good tonight, I suppose. Yeah, it is. Considering that it wasn't too long ago, we were, we had the same situation in Derry, and we we've lost the game, like you know. So um, I think it's important that we we get off with a positive start at least. And we were looking. You look at the two games. Look at the game tonight and the game on, on Monday. We were looking for two positive results. So um, I think tonight's a positive result. So it's a good start. It's a good start anyway. Bit of stability in the club now after the departure of Jeff. So uh, the arrival of uh, Pete and, and John will hopefully steady the ship a bit. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we're all going to have to work hard. Like just because somebody goes doesn't instantaneously mean that it's, you know it's, everything's all right and it's all stable. It's it's, it's um. It's the players are going to have to work as hard as they as they did, even if, if you know if Jeff was still here, but he's gone, and um, Pete's come in and he's um, changed things, and it's um, I think it's had a, had a positive effect as I, I would have expected it to have, um, and players have responded I think in, in training especially. So if we can just um, get the results really, you know, um, that we need, which is you know obviously we need to win on Monday, and um, we've got a really really crucial week coming or crucial two weeks coming up, you know, especially for playing the teams around us. So um, that really is going to make or break our, our season. But I think it's it, it, the time, and a lot of people might say um, wasn't good. But for, you know, it, it, what, what it's what it's done is it's refocused the team on um, on what's ahead, and uh, hopefully we can we can push on. I was back to tonight's game. You were within. Inches of, of, of scoring a goal. Disappointed that, that Greg tipped it over. Yeah, yeah. I think he's done that on purpose because he knew it was me. Um, no, I, 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 I didn't know much about it. To be honest, I, I thought the keeper was going to come and punch the head at me, but I don't know. What, I don't know what happened to him. But um, I'm glad it's led to something. At least it's, it's, it's given us, it's given us the, uh, you know, the opportunity for the penalty. And they've had a man, man sent off. You know, the game might have been different if, 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 if you know, they hadn't had a man sent off. And because Cork are a very good side, but. Um, I think it's settled us a bit as well, and they're going to get enabled us to kind of push on a bit. Unfortunately, not to get the, get the, the second goal, but um, I think in the second half we they kind of sat in, you know, and they 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 they, they done a good job in fairness to them. Um, we didn't do enough to really create enough chances, so that's disappointing. But again, going back to the fact that it, it's one all against Cork, it's a positive start, so we push on, you know. So the, the draw against Derry, it's not in the league, but the draw is the draw tonight. So as you said, it's kind of a six-pointer against Bray on Monday, so that would be an interesting one. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it's a, yeah, it, it's a big game. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, there's, um, but we're perfectly capable of going there and winning the game. You know, um, I keep harping back to the fact that we're, we're we're looking to try and catch Galway, catch Dundalk. To be quite honest, you know, I think if this, well, there's eight games left now. There was nine before tonight, but uh, 27 points or what is it? It's 24 now to play for. It's an awful lot of points to play for, and especially at this time of the season when teams start to draw and they start to get you know itchy feet and so on and so forth so um hopefully i think i think we're capable of of, of pushing on hopefully we can i know that pete just arrives he hasn't got too much time to to, to change things really it's really up to the players to, to gather around and to really uh, finish off the season high yeah it is it's always been up to the players i mean to be honest with you, there's only so much a manager can do um and the, i think the players have to take their um hold their hand up and take you know um, some responsibility for the season, the way it's gone, um, and and again, exactly, it comes down to the players now on Monday and for the rest of the season. We've got to go, we've got to, we've got to perform. And it's not going to be easy because it's not going to be all football, football, football. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. You're going to, you're playing against teams that are scrapping for their lives, and um, if we're not careful, we could be scrapping for our lives ourselves. But we have an opportunity now to uh, to put it to bed. Now we have an opportunity now to kick on and, and go and win a few games and then um, finish off the season. You know, finish off well.